Today, in our Slack Snap Lab, we are going to go with eight locking carabiners and do a head to head showdown. I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to our Slack Snap Lab where we are going to break test eight carabiners. And we're gonna start with these two. Let's go over them. I stand next to you, it really shows the height difference. Yes. So all the carabiners we're testing today are pear-shaped or HMS carabiners, where it's wider on one side than it is on this side, allowing you to do things like a munter or clipping a bunch of stuff in here. However, if you clip part of your anchor or put the load on the gate side, it could reduce the strength 50%. The spine is where you get all the strength. This carabiner has an anti-cross-loading feature in it, and there are other Ronda locking carabiners that do not. And the lock is what's actually most interesting about this. The latch is actually less than flush with the outside of this. You can't accidentally open this, as opposed to this Edelrid locking carabiner, where this latch is exposed. Now, we did a bunch of videos where we were, like, opening carabiners all quick-like, and everyone was like, do the Ronda and we didn't have any. Now this is not going to be as easy to open because the latch is not exposed. But come here and let me show you something. The thing about opening carabiners with ropes is there are no rules. In theory, I could put it up against if this was a hanger and open the carabiner, but we'll stick with ropes for a minute. Instead of clipping both strands, which is not what we do as climbers, we usually clip in between two so it doesn't fall off the end. What happens is you could in theory get it to do this and then in order to get it to come out, you'd have to be very careful. <laughs> Not likely to happen. This Metolius um, for a long time was the cheapest locker you could get. So I've seen a lot of them out there and I think they're, they're good quality. Uh, this is one of the smaller HMS you'll see out there. Very simple design, but good carabiner. It is still rated for 24 kilonewtons. Yeah. And it's going to just be a lighter locking carabiner, but this has a screw gate instead of the, well, that's not a, that's a fancy gate, as opposed to most things we've been testing is an auto locking gate. Um, the other feature of this, in addition to being the cheapest one on the market for a long time, it seems may still be, also has the most screwing required of any screw lock that I've ever seen. Oh, the chokes, oh, the chokes. No! The one we really wanted to feature in this video broke first. It definitely does not function. It just twists. So it rocketed across the room and hit stuff along the way. Do you hit think that's from hitting something? Maybe stretching. Yeah, the stretching. Um, I haven't seen a carabiner do this. It knocked my can over. Yeah. I found Where that on this? I found that on the Lost Arrow Spire. That's why it's on my wall. Oh. It's probably John Salates himself. <laughs> probably. Probably. Nobody else has ever climbed it. Where was this? Yeah, lost the notch. So that's where like a powder coat instead of an anodizing. I don't understand how that happened. That's crazy. When a carabiner meets a hydraulic and they fall in love. <laughs> That's how that happens. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Somebody's gonna get hurt. <laughs> oh, wow. Our next one is Wild Country and Gravel. That is a hard carabiner to clip onto a rope. <laughs> yes. That's my thought. When you sometimes fall, you'll have gate flutter and this gate will flutter. And while it's open, if the peak force hits, this carabiner is going to be rated for only nine kilonewtons and could potentially break. That's why there's this extra gate because if it comes off of this gate, it's going to fall out of the other gate. So I don't consider this locking. I consider it really hard to get in. You hear that? That's yeah. flutter. But while it's open, this is still holding the strength because you've got to have these gates closed. Now, because there's two gates, the Gravel is actually rated for 30. And I'm banking on this one winning this entire round because it is rated so high because it has the two gates. You know, it also fixes gate flutter locking your carabiner <laughs> this is a wild country ascent light is it light 
Uh, it is pretty light and it has good ridges here for the locking. So you could do this with gloves, I'm sure. And what's that one rated to? Does it stand a chance against my 30? Uh, 26. No. <laughs> Is it still a double gate if one no longer locks? <laughs> what I am surprised about is the fact that this thing, rated for 26KN, broke above 30. Oh, if you lock it, then you have 50% of the strength left because half of it's still connected. You won't believe this, but this is a carabiner that opens with the same nose all the others do. And Mad Rock decided to put on this one a twist lock at 26 kn. About the only thing that's the same is this also opens. <laughs> it has a, a three stage. So one is up, two is twist, and three is open. So every carabiner is one stage at least. Sure. Um, anti cross loading <laughs> feature. And Edelrid, uh, I believe, calls this the bulletproof. And ha it has a steel insert here. Um, because steel is harder than aluminum, uh, it's also heavier, so they only have a little part here and the part that will wear the most. So if you use your carabiner a lot for top roping, that won't get a groove in it, is that correct? Uh, it will take longer to get a groove in it. And I, I really would like to see this delaminate from the carabiner when we pull it. All right, we're going to go head to head with these. The MVS of my fingers is less than... Oh my god! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I was really hoping to see this result. Uh, it, oh, I mean, actually that's. Cool, it's just like a, a filling. Wouldn't know to fail. Oh my yeah. gosh, there is no nose left on that. Oh no, there's none of them open anymore. Oh, got it. It's not the same shape. I think that's the problem. There we go. It's like a two stage yeah. locking carabiner. Climbing technology and black diamond. This this is uh, pre Bobby joining the channel. Ryan started making climbing content, and we broke a lot of black diamond. One of your first climbing content videos. Is that what made you watch the channel? Uh, no. What was it? I still don't watch the channel. <laughs> <laughs> so I have black diamond here. Oh, you have a climbing technology made in Italy, and you have the anti cross load feature. Me too. It's called these two fingers. Both screw gates, screw gates, and both the same notches, and they're both the same size approximately. Yep. Yep. And, and they're both rated for. 20, I got twenty three. I got twenty three. It's super stuck. Oh. It's changed its shape just enough. The nose pulled through. Yeah, because the crack yeah. spread it out. So next is Metolius, who's been up to 25, and Gravel, who's been up to 30. It's the only way those open now. I personally do not think that Gravel is going to perform that well because one of the gates that provides that 30 kilonewton rating is not engaged. And this one's locked shut. I actually don't know what's gonna happen. So uh, what I saw happen was the Metolius shot over here and hit this, boom, 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 <laughs> and landed here. That thing looks stressed. Oh, wow, that nose. No, that's not the nose. That's the rear. The pin blew out. Yeah. Where'd the, you see like, that's the nose. The nose is still locked. We still have a locking carabiner. Um, it, it's still compromised the same way. It's no different? Yeah. Wow. That thing got... But you know what? I'm impressed. This actually got 31.52. And... Yeah, it's only rated for 24. So this this rocked it. So what's next is Climbing Technologies at 24.76. Mad Rock's been taken up to 28 already. So Mad Rock has a chance to be the winner here. So neither one of these open at this point. Oh, 
You got it? Yeah. Well, there's the nose. Just wobbling in there like a bobblehead. Why doesn't it open anymore? Slow-mo of it shifting. Wow, it still functions. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought that wasn't fair because this is such a strong carabiner with the two gates, but then technically we haven't had this gate in the game for a while. Correct. Do you have thoughts, Bobby? Uh, I would still use this carabiner before I'd use that one. Oh, you, Bobby, that's not how to get sponsored. You're never going to get sponsored. <laughs> oh, look, a nose. Um, yeah, we took it above its MBS a couple times yeah, yeah, before yeah. it broke. This is where you click off the video thinking, I'm going to talk for five more minutes and there's not going to be anything else to share. But wait, there's more. Time for the Olympics. So in this video, you can see what happened and who won. But in our last video, we had this one. And now we can do the Olympics of carabiners. And they both broke at 31.57 and 31.61. So we're gonna find out which one is going to win. And what's funny is this one also sort of works. Let's find out who wins. I'm going for Austria Alpine at 35. All right, what do you better? go for the Gravel at uh, 33. Okay, what are you guessing? Uh, I'll go Gravel at 31. Uh, Austrian Alpine, 32. Austrian Alpine, 35. Oh, that was the same thing I said. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah, so you guys oh, got to pick. You got to, yeah, you got to. Full gotta, circle. Yeah, full circle. Yeah. Austrian Alpine, 35. No, no, okay. you can't have the same. Like, pick yeah, like no, 35 point something. Rock, paper, scissors for that. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We're not going to Rochambeau. We're yeah. on the same team. We're We're on, same oh, team. my God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think the Gravel is going to win, and then we're going to pull it to its final death at 40. Should we break it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mop needs to know. Oh, there's a lot of parts to this. Well, that makes sense because they gave you extra parts to begin with for redundancy. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good number. We've done a couple carabiner showdown videos now at this point, and I want to know if you guys like this flavor or if we just should put them all in line. I think this is a clever way to share all the different brands, types, styles, and it's kind of like a fancy gear review, a little entertaining, and it is kind of fun to see which ones break higher. Now, if we repeated this whole test again, we might get different results because there's variables.